Hello and thank you for watching 2carpros.com. In this video we are going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and brake rotors on a 2006-2013 Mini Cooper hatch. Let's start with suspending the rear end on level ground, then removing the lug nut cover, then removing the lug nuts allowing you to remove the wheel from the car. Using the appropriate size metric socket and wrench, remove the brake caliper from the brake caliper mounting bracket. Our next step is to remove the brake pad sensor. It is prone that the sensor will break. We will be replacing it later on in this video. Remove the brake caliper from the brake assembly. Using a small standard screwdriver, remove the rear brake pads from the brake caliper mounting bracket. You can see on this brake pad that with the brake pad sensor, that the brake pad sensor has been worn, putting a brake service indicator light on the dash. Using the appropriate size socket, remove the brake caliper mounting bracket bolts, allowing you to remove the brake caliper mounting bracket. Using an impact screwdriver and a hammer with the right Torx attachment, remove the hardware bolt holding the brake rotor to the vehicle. We like to compare our new brake rotor with our old brake rotor to be sure a proper install. Using breaker carb cleaner, clean the surface in which the brake pads will be mating to the rotor. Install the brake rotor back to the vehicle, then tighten the Torx bolt that you removed from before, torquing it to factory specifications. Reinstall the brake caliper mounting bracket using the two hardware bolts you removed from before and the appropriate size metric socket wrench torquing them to factory specifications. We like to compare our new brake pads with our old brake pads to be sure a proper install. Install the new brake pads to the brake caliper mounting bracket, getting the indicated brake pad sensor one on the correct side, which is the inner side. Our next step is to remove the old brake pad sensor line, running up to where it plugs into the factory's wiring harness, then unplug it from the wiring harness. We like to compare our new brake pad sensor to our old brake pad sensor to be sure a proper install. Install the new brake pad sensor to the vehicle, plugging it into the factory's wiring harness, running it down to the brake caliper.
On this next step, we are going to have to use a brake caliper compression tool using the right adapter for our brake caliper piston. Install and use the brake caliper compression tool, compressing the brake piston back into the caliper, allowing you to install the caliper to the mounting bracket. Once you are done recessing the piston back into the caliper, remove the brake caliper compression tool, then reinstall the brake caliper to the brake caliper mounting bracket using the two brake caliper slide bolts you removed from before. Using the appropriate socket and wrench, tighten the brake caliper slide bolts to factory specifications. Install the new brake pad sensor to the new brake pad. Install the wheel back to the vehicle, then hand tighten the lug nuts to avoid cross threading, then tighten the lug nuts in a cross pattern formation, torquing the lug nuts to factory specifications. Then, reinstall the wheel lug nut cover to the wheel. Before operating the vehicle, you will need to press down on the brake pedal slowly, then release the brake pedal slowly, repeating this process until you find what is called brake pressure, then the vehicle is safe to drive. Please click our subscribe button and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching DukeCarPros.com.